Hello football fans we have some fresh information and a warning to the new owner of Manchester United. Caution, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, as you venture into a precarious situation by acquiring Manchester United. Reports indicate that the confirmation of Ratcliffe's deal to part own Manchester United may be imminent. In anticipation, The Athletic commissioned a special report, inside the Manchester United football operation INEOS stands to inherit, revealing a somewhat chaotic setup, particularly concerning recruitment. Here are seven concerning aspects that shed light on the mess Ratcliffe is stepping into. Firstly a hierarchy structure above the manager is ill-suited for the task. Ratcliffe has reportedly recognized the need to streamline United's staffing structure. This extends to the top, particularly in recruitment, where numerous positions exist, yet the collective experience falls short of what one would expect for a club of United stature. The report also highlights additional checks and balances around recruitment involving directors, namely Chief Financial Officer Cliff Beatty and General Counsel and current Interim Chief Executive Patrick Stewart, and of course, Joel Glazer. United's track record on transfers highlights just how inefficient and ineffective the current setup is. Next is Murdo's survival instinct. John Murdo, the football director, emerges prominently in the Athletics report. Despite expectations of a new sporting director being appointed by Ratcliffe, Murdo is keen to stick around, showcasing his survival instinct and described as a shrewd political operator. The fact he has seen five managers since he was brought to the club from Everton in 2013 highlights Murdo's instinct for self-preservation. He has clearly earned the trust of the Glazers, though as the report highlights other key figures such as Sir Alex Ferguson and Nicky but don't share that viewpoint. Fallouts with both are described as misunderstandings by those close to Murdo. A major moment came with Sir Alex Ferguson clashed with Murdo when Murdo messed up the Jude Bellingham deal. Third, lack of seriousness in sporting director pursuit. United's pursuit of a sporting director took two and a half years, culminating in the internal appointment of Murdo. The process, marked by ambiguity and fudging, suggests a lack of genuine intent. Joel Glazer is said to be the chief who insisted upon Murdo's promotion, this shows that Murdo is very close to the Glazer and there has been rumors that Mutra will be staying in a different role under Ratcliffe. Fourth is Eric Ten Hag's isolation. Manager Eric Ten Hag's apparent lack of trust in officials stems from a perceived dearth of football knowledge. The report highlights a deficiency in direction, decisiveness, leadership, and clarity in the decision-making process. Sources insist there is nobody at the club skilled at assessing a player's worth who also has authority on spending and can take a holistic view of squad building. Next is United's overpayment and underperformance. The club's fluctuating ambitions and targets have resulted in overpaying for players without commensurate performance. The report underscores a lack of foresight in recruitment and an inability to secure value for investments. Some examples are overpaying for players is a common theme in the report. They went way over their initial budgets for the likes of Anthony valued at £25 million when scouts under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer had the Brazilian assessed. Rasmus Hodgland was valued at £50 million and United paid £72 million which Atalanta banked themselves a £22 million profit, and lastly Mason Mount, whose value a year from free agency was initially deemed to be £40 million. United paid at least £55 million. Sixth Ratcliffe's vision needed. There's a call for Ratcliffe to bring vision to the club's recruitment. Instances of missed opportunities, like failing to pursue Harry Kane, suggest a lack of ambition and determination in the current setup. It is clear that United will only do easy deals. And even then, they pay way over the odds. Ratcliffe and Brailsford need to bring some ambition and determination to a recruitment setup damned by its own failures. And lastly, seventh reaping what they've sown. The culmination of these decisions has reportedly left Manchester United with the capacity for only two loan deals during Ratcliffe's first transfer window in January. A consequence of their own missteps. In taking control of Manchester United, Ratcliffe faces the challenge of rectifying these alarming aspects to restore the club's former glory.